this is what art does. It allows people to express themselves and then remove themselves from the expression so that somebody else can connect to it without any pity or self-consciousness. It's like your favorite song was written just for you. It's that sensation. And when this exchange started to happen, I felt this relief of, oh, you know, we're the same. We need to feel like we belong to this, this experience. We need to know our place. We need to know where we fit. We need to feel um, that we're, we're accepted for who we are. So the goal, may, you may think it's to get a show or to get press or to make money or to have fame, but it's, it's not. The thing we all really want is to feel connected. And I was working on one and um, this man emailed me and when he saw it and he said, I don't know why, but I'm so compelled by this picture. And I never met him before. And uh, he said, I'm interested in buying it, but can you tell me the story? Well, why did you paint this? And I thought, you know, one wants to hear about somebody's mother who's dying of cancer, but I'm gonna tell a story anyway. And so, I told him what it was about and it was just this kind of um, reflection on what you go through in this, this process of, of losing someone you love so much. And he wrote back and connected to it so beautifully. He was, he was like, oh my God, my, my wife and I both just went through this. When you're looking at death, things get very, very real. You can't really hide from anything. And you can't have expectations of how it's going to go. You can't um, impose anything on it. You can really just, just be there, be present, and be awake. And that was my commitment, was just to try to be as present as possible. And I'm so grateful I could be with her so so closely the compulsion to paint starts with a really simple curiosity i wonder what it's going to look like if i mix this with this and then add that on top and then as the image develops this thing starts looking back at you and you create a, a dialogue with it. But the compulsion goes away from just curiosity and it goes to like, like you're talking to somebody and you're really trying to connect with them. The most satisfying moments are when you reach another person and they're disarmed. They're kind of outside their self-consciousness or their ego. You know, their, their senses are opened. We've all had that. We've all had that moment with someone else where we're just so engaged in the moment, in the conversation, in the, in the movie we're watching or the song we're listening to that we, we leave all of the concerns that bog us down all the time, you know, and we're just kind of there.